So I wanted to um, introduce everyone to how they're viewing their labs. I had a few questions about people who were um, just a little confused about what to download, where to view the labs, um, and admittedly I was as well. So let me um, screen share and I will show you um, the, Mac, the Mac version of this at least. Um, I know it's a little bit different with PCs, but from what I can tell, um, Professor Hemick's um, instructions were more suitable for PC. So hopefully that um, uh, just me showing you where to look uh, uh, helps you with that. Let me head over to course documents. And then to downloads or this alternatively, I, I think this is new. I didn't see that uh, last time, but I'll, I'll just work, work with you through downloads. You scroll down here, and we have this kind of thing here. The first step is to find your documents folder and make, um, uh, quite frankly, I don't think you need this. Um, what you do need to do is to download this software. So uh, head over to click that link. It'll bring you to a new tab, either your Windows or your Mac. What I did was I downloaded this and then I put it, where did I put it? Um, so I clicked this and then I pressed save. And then I told my computer where to put it. I believe I put it in my documents. Yes. So I, I did it as a document and then it will do this zip file. You know what, let me just delete everything from my computer so I can show you how it works. So I'm downloading this into my documents. Now that I have the zip file, I unzip it. Um, either you right click and you press, you know, decompress or something like that on a, on a PC or um, with, a, um, with a Mac, I can just double click on it and it automatically does that. A zip file is just a way to reduce the file size of something. Now that I've done that, I, you know, can free up some space on my computer by just moving that to trash. And here's the application that you use uh, for the lab. Now, once I run it, you'll notice in the background a new folder appears once this application opens. It'll probably, because it's an uh, application you download from the internet, it'll probably ask you if you really want to open it. It's like a virus prevention thing. So now you can see I have this IO lab work file. So at the moment, uh, this application isn't very useful yet um, because you can't really see anything. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is head back to the course documents and then I'm going to click this link, which is a prompt for you to download something in this file right here. So right now you can see my arrow. It, it tells me this is empty. What I'm going to do is download this. into that folder. And you, you notice that it already prompted me to go there. Um, so if it didn't prompt you, um, I think you know this zip or, or link that uh, Professor Hammack has here is written. Um, you know, it's coded in a particular way to have it go to your activities folder. I just save it now to my activities folder that was created once I ran the IO application and it downloads. And now it's a zip folder. And so I do the same thing, decompress it. And 
And now I can undo my zip. Or not undo, I can uh, get rid of that. It's not, not useful for me anymore. It's a compressed file where I actually need all the files. And now, if I head over to my application, in this folder application here, you head over to lesson list and you should have all your labs for, um, albeit this is for 133 and 134. Uh, so scrolling down to physics two here. So here's your orientation lab, your electric field plotting lab and such. Um, so that's how you view the labs. You know, if you click on this, you end up you know, reading the lab manual and, and things like that. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know if you have any other questions, but that's that's how the, the downloading and the directories and um, you know, that's kind of a user interface version of, of something called a terminal or like a command line type stuff. So I will uh, end this recording and, uh, and share it.